Thank you for connecting. Thank you for joining us in, in our evening service of today, Thursday. I know God has blessed you. I know God has done many things in your life. And we have all the reason to thank him, to bless him in our life. This is yours, Apostle Lebon of Shekinah, Deliverance Ministries, where gods belong to everybody where we believe God add value to people's life, to his word, to his wisdom. Thank you for being there for us. I want to invite you in prayer so that we may go to, this, uh, to read the scriptures of today. Then we shall have time to pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you uh, for this day. It's a special day given to us we love you because of who you are in our life for your doing in our life we are so grateful for your hand which is upon our life for your mercies and love father we bless this day and we welcome your presence in this meeting of today bless my viewers wherever they are Prepare their hearts so that they may receive something today which will help them to stand firm in this situation. We bless the entire church worldwide. And I pray, Father, that we'll continue to add their faith so that they may stand firm and fight the good fight of faith. In Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Wherever you are, I know you are connected. I know you are ready for the word of God. And I want to take you to, in the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verse 1. We shall read few scripture, few verses there. Then we shall have time to pray together. Uh, our reading of today, it's found in the book of Daniel, chapter 3. We are going to read verse 1 to verse 5. Then we are going to jump. Uh, from verse 16. Daniel chapter 3 verse 1. King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold six cubits high and six cubits wide and set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. He then summoned the satraps Prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials to come to the dedication of the image he had set up. Verse 3. So the straps, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials assembled for the dedication of the image that the king Nebuchadnezzar had set up and they stood before it. Then the herald loudly proclaimed nations and peoples of every language, this is what you are commanded to do. As soon as you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zeta, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of God that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into blazing furnace. 
Let's jump now to verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to offend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of God you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and his, his attitude toward them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual, and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So these men wearing their robes, trousers, turbans, and other clothes were bound and thrown into the blazing furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, formerly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, where are there three men that we tied up and throw into the fire? They replied, certainly, your majesty. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, up, unbound and unarmed, and the four looks like the son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out on the fire, and the, the straps, prefects, governors, and roy, royal advisors crowded around them. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was a hair of their heads sanged uh, their robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire of them on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angels and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their, uh, their own god. Therefore, I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be cut into pieces and their, board, their houses be burned into pills of rubber for not, no other god can save, can save in this way. Then the king, the, the, then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego in the province of Babylon. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this portion of the word given to us. Father, speak to my viewers. Let this word build up their faith in what they are going through. And all the glory shall come back to you. In Jesus' name, we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my viewers, wherever you are, wherever you are following us. Uh, I know you are doing good, and God is good uh, to all of us. And uh, It's another privilege given to us to stand before you and speak the word of God, speak the mind of God. And I know God will bless you through this portion of scripture which you have chosen to speak to us through it.
Now, according to our reading, which we have read in the book of Daniel, chapter 3, uh, the few verses which we have uh, selected, we will understand what was going on in the kingdom of the Babylon when Nebuchadnezzar was the king leading his people. And we know about Meshach, Shadrach, and, and Abednego, were just the exile who were living in Babylon in those days. Uh, they were favored by the king, promoted. They, are, they were serving in that kingdom. But these people, despite they were promoted by the king Nebuchadnezzar, they were living in Babylon. They didn't forget uh, their customs, uh, their custom of their God. They knew we are living in Babylon, but we are not the people of the Babylon. We belong to the God of the Israel, and the God of Israel who revealed himself to us, and he gave us his word, how we should, uh, how we should worship him. And we have the word of God, we have the mind of our God. Despite we are in, in a foreign land, we'll keep worshiping our God. Number one, Nebuchadnezzar, uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego understood something. We are promoted, we are, we are favored in this land of Babylon because of our God. It's only our God who can favor us uh, in, a, in a foreign land, the way we are living. For that reason, we have to keep uh, uh, the custom, we have to, to stand firm, we have to worship our God, the God who gives us a privilege uh, to be accepted in Babylon. Number two, the Bible says, it, uh, it came a time when the king of Babylon decided to, uh, to make a statute which every person who was found in, who was living in his kingdom must bow down and worship it. But these people, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they knew their God, they knew the word of their God, refrained them for bowing or worshiping any other kind of idol or, or any kind of person, anybody else, despite the God, the Creator. And when this order was given to all the citizens of that kingdom, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego stood up and responded to the king, to the, to the, uh, to the, uh, to, to the demand of the king. And they answered the king, we we are not ready to bow down. We are not ready to worship your God. You know, we have to worship our God, the God of Israel. And the Bible says the king was so furious in a way, he commanded his, his people uh, to, 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 to put the, uh, the fire to be more stronger seven times than the way it used to be. And these three people was tired and thrown to, the, uh, to that lake of fire. And what my Bible tells me, when these three people was uh, tired, these people who came to take them, to, to throw them in the fire, all, uh, uh, even uh, uh, also, these three people, uh, the people who came to, to throw the uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego in the fire, they, they die with this fire, which was strongly, uh, it was strong. Now, um, everybody knew that these people, yes, they have died. But when the king was watching uh, in furnace of fire, he remarks where there are four people, and he asked uh, his servant, did you not uh, throw three people in, in the lake of fire? They say, yes, you have thrown three people in the lake of fire. But he respond, he answered them, but I have found four people, and the one is resembled to the sons of God, the sons of God. And when he came near, he found Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, and the fourth person was there in the, uh, in the lake of fire, and nobody who was, uh, was burned with this fire. And he commanded all his governors, all his people, to surround that place, and he make an order that everybody in this, in my entire kingdom, must worship the God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, the God who they have put their trust in. 
when I ordered everybody must bow before uh, my gods which I've met, they refused before me and they said they cannot do it. Even if their God will not save them, they are ready to die. And because these people were ready to die because of their God, in my kingdom, my entire kingdom, their God will be our God. Everybody must worship their God. And any, any, any person will be against them or uh, go against my second decree, he shall be killed and his household we shall be burned. What I want to bring to you, my viewers, wherever you are, is this. We have to understand uh, the Meshach and Shadrach and Belenego understood something. They have something in their mind. They knew we are people, we, we belong to God. As you and I here on earth, we are just a foreigner here on earth. We represent our God here on earth. And if we are foreigners here on earth, we should not embrace every culture which the world brings to us. We should not accept every culture, every things, every way which the world try to enforce to us to believe it. We have to know we are people of God. We belong to our God. And we have the custom of our God as his word which command us what we should do and what we should not do. And this, it was, it was in the mind uh, of these three people, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. They knew even when we are in this land, even we, when we are favored, but we have to stick on the principle of the law of our God. People of God, we have to understand, it's only the law of God which will preserve us, which will protect us against, against any calamity, against any kind of problem which we can come in this world. When we seek on the law of God, they are able to protect us, they are able to provide, they are able to guarantee us victory in many trouble and difficulty which we can find ourselves in. And this happened in the life of these three people, the Jew people who knew their God and they believed in their God. My viewers, my listener, we are, the whole world is facing a situation which is a terrible situation because it's a terrible because all of us, we are experiencing uh, the thousands and thousands of people who are dying day after day. We have to acknowledge that the whole world is in trouble. And if the whole world is in trouble, how can we survive in this calamity, in this situation which is going on? Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they found themselves in something like this. Because when the king made that statute and made the decree, everybody in my kingdom must worship, must bow before the statutes which I've made. Number one, the king, he, he, de he, he endangers the life of his people. Why? Because every time people worship uh, uh, the stranger God, they will be against the God, the creator. And when God, anger, come upon them, God will destroy them. Which means the door of destruction was opened by the king himself upon his people. And everybody who will seek them, who want the mass of God, must align himself in the laws of God which are able to protect him uh, in the decree which was made. And anybody who will follow the decree of the king, he makes himself to become an enemy of God, which means the protection of God will not be upon him, the provision of God will not be upon him. And it's what, what took place in the time of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. But these three people understood, had this in their mind, we have a God who have redeemed us. We have a God who have shown us favor in this land. We have a God who teaches us his ways. We cannot embrace this culture, which the king has. It doesn't matter how powerful he is. My listener, we have to understand in this life of Christianity, in this journey of working with God, there's a time which will come, there's a season, there's a period when your faith must be tested. 
And the time we are living in, our faith has been tested. Worldwide, the, test, the, the, the faith of Christian, all kind of faith, that is being tested. But when your faith is tested, how are you going to stand? How are you going to overcome? How your God will be known? How your faith will be known? That is the true faith. We have to be able to stand firm. How our faith has been tested? When churches have been shut down, people should not meet together, church should not meet together. This is the, how our faith has been tested. And as I always say to people, even when the church, the building has been shut up, the church is you and I. The Bible says, the God will never live in the house built by the hand of human beings, but he lives in the temple built by himself. Me and you, we are his creature. He made us, he created us. And he says in his word, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And this period uh, which we are living in, uh, our, our faith has been tested as the faith of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego was tested in their days. But these three people stood firm even when they saw death before him, them. They were ready to die, but not to fail their God, not to, uh, not to deny their faith. And many believers, many Christians, has fallen apart from uh, in this period, in this season, in which we are living in. The social distancing, it doesn't mean to refrain from the laws, from the principle of your God. If you know, the Bible says, you must not, we must not stop to join together as the, the culture, as the, behave, the behaviors, as the custodies of Christians, we may not gather together in a church like, uh, like where I am, but spiritually we can connect ourselves together. How can we connect ourselves together? What I'm doing here, I'm feeding the people of God uh, the spiritual food. You cannot resist what is coming. You cannot stand firm in this situation which you are not fed on the word of God. It's only the word of God which gives you hope, which, which uh, builds up your faith to stand firm in this situation. But when you are not fed spiritually, you become weak spiritually. And when you become weak spiritually, every attack from the enemy, every breaking news, it will break you up. It will shaken your faith. And when your faith are shaken, you have to know you are in your way to fall down. You will not stand the trial ahead of you. But what gives us strength? What enables us to stand the attack of the enemy? Even when we hear breaking news, even when we, we, we receive bad news, what will enable you to stand and to have a positive mind it's because you have been fed by the word of God. My viewers, my listener, the church of God, you have to connect to the word of God. Wherever you are, you have to have time to connect your, your spirit to the word of God so that you may be strong spiritually, you may have so something in you which you will respond to an attack of the enemy. You have to understand our battle are not carnal, are not physical, but our battle are spiritual. The weapons which the enemy are using are spiritual. But when you feed yourself from the word of God, you will be able to stand. When 
you catch what I'm, uh, I'm sharing with you now. Like the case of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. When they put their trust in their God, their God was able to rescue them in that furnace of fire. In this situation, which we are facing, the old world, when our trust are in our God, when we maintain our holy life, when we maintain our, our relationship with our God, our fellowship with him are intact, I want to assure you, it doesn't matter the breaking news which are coming uh, to you every day, every hour, you will be able to stand and the God of the Bible will rescue you. The same God who stood with Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, when they stood firm, when they were not ready to compromise before the order given by the kings, these people were rescued and their God was known among, among the kingdom and their God of Israel was worshipped in the entire kingdom. Why? Because these people stood firm. There are situations which God will allow to come so that those people who don't know him may know him when we stand far. It's time for the church of God, it's time for believers to stand firm and not compromise him. If you rely on God, if your trust is in God, you will continue to obey his principles. You will continue to do on your daily basic everything which God requires you to do. God is the God of all seasons. Is the God in our abundance? Is the God in the crisis? Is the God when we have multitude? Is the God when we are alone? You have to learn to stand firm. You have to, to, to put the word of God in your mind. You have to live according to the word of God. You have to obey his principles because it's only his principles which will rescue you in this time when our faith has been tested. I don't know where you are. If you still believe the Bible, if you still believe in the laws of God, if you still believe in the principle of the Bible. But I want to assure you, they are only what will rescue in this situation. Because it was only the faith of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego in their God which rescued them in, uh, in that furnace of fire. It's only what is faith. Your faith is every principle, law given to you, which you have to obey. You have to live according to it, which was you should not bow before anything. And because these people obeyed it, they were not ready to bow before the statutes of the king. And the God who gave them that law came to their rescue. There is God in heaven who is watching you. He's watching your attitude. He's watching how you stand firm in his word. He's watching you how you are coping with this situation. People of God, listen to me. Do you believe God of provision? You know what to do. Do you believe in God or, 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 or protection? You know what to do. Do you believe the God or Jehovah Jireh? You know what to do. If you want to live, you have to do what God requires you to do. But if you want to die, just keep compromising in the law of your God. It's only the law of God, the principles of God, which will sustain you which will give you testimony, which will reveal how powerful your God he is to the people who don't know our God. The God of Meshach and Shadrach and Abednego was known to the king Nebuchadnezzar because these people stood. It doesn't matter what has been said about COVID-19. It doesn't matter all the restri uh, 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 restriction which you have been given, but you have to stand firm to the word of God. You have to stick to the word of God, and the word of God will deliver you. The word of God will give you testimony. 
But if you are wherever you are, I know God has spoken to you. And I want to invite you in prayer so that we may go before our God. If you know in this situation you have compromised to the principle given to you which guarantees you protection, it's time for you to ask forgiveness for your God, to your God. If you, your faith has gone down because of this situation, I know this portion of scripture which you have read, it has built up your faith and you can put your trust in the God of Israel who will never fail you or abandon you. I want you to join me in prayer as we go before God. Our dear Lord, here we are, we come before you. Thank you for your word which you have spoken to us this evening. I pray for my viewers, my listeners, wherever they are. Those who have gone astray, we are not applying your principles on their daily, on their daily life. Remember, must forgive them, O oh God. I introduced to them the God of Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, who was able to deliver those who put their trust in him. Father, I pray for my listener, my viewer, that this message will boost up, will build up his faith, and to continue to trust in you, the God will never fail in this period when our faith has been tested. I pray for those who have abandoned their faith, Father, forgive them. Strengthen them, O oh God, so they may stand and continue to believe in you and to serve you according to the call which is upon their life. Pray for your people, for your protection, for your provision. Those who are sick, Father, I speak healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who need restoration, let restoration take place in their lives. Those who need provision, let miracle take place in their lives. I pray for Africa and I declare and decree the expectation of other people will not be met. In the name of Jesus, Africa is safe. Africa is protected by you, our Lord. Africa, we shall live to declare the goodness of God. And we pray for all your people who believe in you and worldwide. God of the Bible, Help them to stand firm. Hear their prayers, O oh God. You know their needs. Make way for your people. And those who don't know you, Father, let this situation bring them back to you because you are their creator. Father, we cover our nations by the blood of Jesus Christ and we declare and decree COVID-19 will not slay our people, not kill our people, but we shall live to declare the goodness of God. Africa will serve you. Africa will worship you. Africa will declare you to other continents because of your hand, because of your protection which is upon them. Father, we thank you, we worship you. In Jesus' name, we do pray and believe. Amen, 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 amen. My viewers, wherever you are, I know you have caught something. I know God has built up your faith. I know God has spoken to your mind. Maybe you have been living in fear. I know your faith has been built up. You can stand, you can put your trust in him, and he will not, uh, he will not fail you because he never failed those who trusted in him. This was the voice of Shekinah, the deliverance minister, where God will have the word, where God had fire. And yours, Apostle Lebon, Tiana. God bless you. Next time, bye.
prophesying change The world is changing Welcome to Shekinah La Shekinah A ma changé A ma formé A transformé Touching heaven, changing earth Breathing life to the Lord Restoring the sun 